guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and welcome to another episode of my new farm LP using Cottage Living. I'm so excited to continue with this family. The sun is just rising, it's another day in Henford on Bagley. So let's go and meet the family that we've been playing with. And yeah, I'll let you know what I've got planned for this episode. Okay, so first up, this is our cow Buttercup. In case you didn't watch last episode, we did meet her then and her shed is looking a little bit dirty. So I'm just gonna get our protagonist, Aria, to come down and clean her shed for her. And whilst she's doing that, Ivy's veg patch is looking a little bit worse for wear. So I'm gonna get Ivy to go and tend her garden as well. Okay, so it looks like Aria is coming over. And oh no, it says that one of our hens, Clara, is thinking of leaving. Oh no, so we'll have to take care of the, the chickens after we've cleaned out Buttercup's shed. Oh dear, there's lots of them happening. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'll cancel some of these animations and then deal with Buttercup later because she's reasonably happy at the minute. Oh, and it looks like Ivy's getting on in her garden nicely. She's just watering the plants. I love this outfit. That was totally inspired by an outfit that I see my own grandma wear quite a lot. I'm pretty sure that both of those items came from Cottage Living, so I think it's definitely spot on for granny wear, this pack. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get Aria to collect the eggs. I was struggling to collect the eggs last time and I think it might have been because we have foxes because we do have the foxes lot challenge on. So that might be why we didn't have eggs to collect but also maybe previously I'd collected eggs and forgotten about it, I don't know, but we'll see. Let's call all the chickens out and then maybe we can see if we can feed them somehow. I'm not sure but I think maybe scattering feed nearby isn't as effective as feeding them directly or individually so oh yay Ellie completed her homework so they'll both be off to school soon both Ellie and Mark so we won't see them until the evening oh we do have at least one egg visible oh and it looks like Ivy's on her way to unlocking a lifestyle which one is it oh it doesn't say which one it is but we'll see <laughs> okay so Ari is now coming over to the chickens and hopefully we'll get some eggs. I'm not sure how many that was. And like I say, I think we might have a reduced amount due to foxes. Oh no, we, we have one hatchable egg. Oh, are we allowed to use them in food if they're hatchable? Let's have a look, hatchable egg. Hatchable eggs cannot be used in recipes. Oh, so that's really frustrating. However, we do have, I think six eggs currently at the minute. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and Fidget is looking filthy, so we'll probably have to give him a bath later. Oh, and Lemon has grown up into a hen. Okay, so we'll just quickly feed Amelia and some of the other chickens. I don't know where they've gone. I mean, they're pretty free range, so that makes it difficult to do stuff like feed them. Oh, we're just scattering feeds. Yeah, let's call chickens to eat. Oh, so maybe they were just in the coop then. Oh yay! <laughs> I don't actually, I can't actually remember most of their names off by heart, but we do have quite a few chickens. Oh okay, so they're getting fed, which is nice. Hopefully they won't run away. <laughs> oh, and there's an option to check in on Chicken's Day, so we'll do that, because I don't think we've interacted with the chicks much. And then we could feed Alice. I don't think we've got an option to actually like Oh, maybe we have, we could pet, oh, we could pet her and smother her with love. Let's see what happens here then. Oh, look at her hopping over. Hello. Oh, she's just have a quick, oh no, she doesn't like what we just did. I can't remember what that was. Maybe she doesn't want to interact with us. No, we're scattering some more food, that's good. Oh, it just fell asleep. <laughs> Is it gonna let, oh, what? <laughs> Aww. It's getting a bit crowded around here, but that was cute still. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Jumping for joy. Hopefully she'll do another cute interaction. Oh, that other chick is coming over now. Aww. They're so cute. Look at him. And whilst we take care of the animals, I'm just going to get Ivy to plant some of the blueberries and the chocoberries that we got last episode. And, and oh, it looks like we can also harvest some of these as well. So I'll get her to tend some of the other plants around the garden. And it looks like we've got one more egg, so 
let's put that in an inventory. Oh, okay, so when we took the eggs, it put four of them in our inventory. Oh no, it's special eggs, zero. Oh, okay, I was reading that zero, but it says five eggs. So we have collected five eggs and one of them is hatchable. So shall we put this back in the coop how do we get them to incubate in coop let's do that and that way we will get another chick this is annie so we could socialize with her and i think yeah i want to just see these again because we didn't get a very good look at those interactions did we oh here we go oh and alice is now a rooster <laughs> Of course I would name the rooster Alice. Okay, so we could sell Alice for meat because we already do have a rooster and we shouldn't really have more than one in a coop. I hope that doesn't offend anyone in the comments below. Aww. Oh my God, look. <laughs> this is the cutest thing in the world. I cannot handle. Oh, it's little tiny wings. <laughs> Oh, and it's gonna nap. Um, our chicks sleep all the time, I swear. Oh, look! <laughs> oh my god, bless it. It's so cute. These animations are so adorable. They have put so much time into all of the animations for all of the animals, especially the chickens. I was expecting them to be so basic, but they're really good. Okay, that's enough for the chickens, I think. I think we will see if Buttercup can be milked and then we will go into town or maybe bake a pie and then go into town. Because yeah, I'm really excited to go and show you and tell you about all of the festivals that I've created in our calendar and yeah, planned out and I've created like a new lot for the festivals to take place so that's gonna be really exciting oh hello buttercup okay so she definitely needs cleaning and feeding and let's interact with her because we had a little bit of trouble getting milk from her before showing her some love so we'll give her a cuddle also pet her and then maybe try and milk her after that and I'm not overly familiar with how we can get all of the different types of milk. Oh my god, that face is so cute. I love this animation. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how we get all the different types of milk and eggs and what ingredients we need in order to do so. But we'll work that out with time, I think. It's something that we'll do gradually. And just for now, I'd like to just bake something with the eggs and the milk. So yeah, that'll be fun to do. Uh, maybe I'll get Ivy to give Fidget a bath as well because he's looking super dirty. And yeah, I mentioned that the foxes are the reason why we haven't been getting eggs. I mean, obviously I misunderstood that notification. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh my God, how cute is this? Oh, that's so adorable. But yeah, Fidget has been sleeping outside and watching over the chickens. It looked like I couldn't tell really, but it looked like he was sort of guarding them from the foxes. I have no idea whether that has worked or not or how it works, but that's what it looked like. And he has a sheepdog, so it would make sense, but I don't trust the Sims team to have actually done that and made that possible. So, okay, we just milked Buttercup. Let's see if we've got anything in our inventories. Okay, so we got some more milk as well, that's great. Oh no, our eggs are really poor quality. I have no idea how to make them better quality. So that's a shame. Oh, what quality of milk is excellent. Maybe it's because we're not as good friends with our chickens. I think maybe if we had fewer chickens, then we'd be able to like interact with them individually more. See, Alice, oh no, starving and unhappy. That's not good. We are quite good friends with them. They are fine. But yeah, we haven't got the opportunity to like interact with them. But yeah, let me know what your opinion of selling the chickens for meat is because it might help us get rid of a few hens and that way we can interact with them more and take better care of them that way. And then maybe we only have to do it once and not regularly. Or we could do it as a long-term way of getting meat ourselves instead of having to buy it. So let me know what your preference is. So yeah, if you guys don't want to see it, then I will not 
not do it, but if you do, let me know down in the comments below. Oh, over here we are getting some growth for all of Ivy's plants. Apparently they'll sort of diminish in numbers, but increase in size if they're going to be like an oversized plant, whereas if they remain as four, then they will be smaller. So maybe they I think they're better for jams if they're smaller, but they're better for the competition if they're bigger. So we'll see how we get on. I'm not sure if they will continue to change or if this is the number that they'll stay as. Okay, so we had to plant the blueberries that we got, so we can't make a pie with them. So I was thinking instead we could make some jam or some custard and then go on a little picnic. Let's make some jam because I want to see what that canning interaction looks like. We could also bake some bread to go with the jam. So we're gonna have a bit of an afternoon cooking. Oh, and Ellie's back from school, so we could take the whole family to a picnic actually in the evening, that would be nice. And so yeah, I might get Mark to now give Fidget a bath because he desperately needs one, so that would be nice. Okay, so it looks like we've started making our jam, which is exciting. I really can't wait to see the animations for this and see what it looks like. And I think it's just such a cute concept to like make individual preserves and stuff and then be able to take them on a picnic, so that's really exciting. So we're making our jam now. Oh, we're not very good, but hopefully we'll get better and better with the series as the series progresses. <laughs> we'll stop trying to do such fancy stuff, Aria, and then you'll be all right. Yay, it looks like we've made our jam. Okay, so we can at least put that in the... Oh, no. Oh, no, I thought we were done, but we've got another stage. We apparently are heating it somehow in a pot, which is odd, but okay. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Cool. So we've just put that in our little picnic basket, and then let's make some bread. And I also got some comments because we tried and failed to use the cook with function with Ellie last time. So I got some comments down below saying that you guys were also having trouble with that. So I think it might be a bug. <laughs> She's quite daring, isn't she? For considering her skill level is so low at cooking. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be ready soon. It looks like it's pretty much done. And then once it is, we can go over to the community lot that I made in town and I'll show you the festivals as well that I'm really excited to share with you. Yay! So here is our bread that we baked. Let's drag it into our picnic basket and let's put that in our inventory. And then let's go on a little picnic with the family. Let's take everyone. So I've just created a little park on this lot. I know this is where like the competitions take place on this green here. So just right next to it, I've created this park, which I think will be handy for the community activities that I've got planned for us. Okay, so this is obviously the village in Henford on Bagley, and this is where the competitions for like the chicken show and stuff like that's gonna take place, which we will be trying to participate in. But then over here, I just made this playground and sort of community lot. And at the minute it's got some playground equipment, picnic benches, this is a toilet, and then then over here it's got some market stalls and some music. And before we have our little picnic, I'll just go into our calendar so I can show you what I've done. So every Saturday we've got the Finchwick Fair, but then I think mostly on Sundays or the odd other day, I've created two festivals per season. So each season has got the season festival, so a summer festival, an autumn festival, a winter festival, and obviously a spring one too. What I had planned is I'll change up this community lot and I'll add different objects so for the summer festival there'll be a hay bale maze, barbecue, places for bands to play music, there'll be games and there'll be loads of food and drink tables and stalls and people can bring their own baked goods and share them with the community and I'll probably create clubs to get the community to gather here so I'll have to go around and meet some new community members too. And then we've got another summer festival which is the art festival here so I'm gonna put up some like craft stalls and some objects maybe some easels and we'll just get sims to like sit on benches and knit together and cross stitch and talk to each other so that will be really cute I think then in autumn we've got a film festival so like an outdoor viewing of a film we've obviously got Halloween or spooky days and then we've got the autumn festival as well which is basically like bonfire night so we'll have a bonfire 
we'll bake some goods and bring them, we'll have fireworks and festive lighting. I've also added a remembrance day because obviously the kids parents passed away so I thought it might be nice to visit the church where their rave is and remember them. Then for the winter festival I'm kind of most excited about this because I was going to place down an ice skating rink and we might have like a makeshift snowman building competition and have snowball fights and make snow angels and stuff like that and then there'll be like a hot drink stall and a snack stall and again like bring baked goods and things and we've obviously got winter fest and then new year's eve and I have included harvest fest as well but I just got rid of the gnomes because they really annoy me <laughs> and then in spring we've got love day and a spring festival which is basically just about gardening and baking and then a flower bunny day which is easter so basically an egg hunt so I'm really excited about those and I will switch up this lot as well for each of those festivals and it will look really different so I'm really excited to do things as a community so we will have to go around Henford and Bagley village and hopefully meet some sims I have put a ton of your sims in all of the different lots so I'm just gonna get these guys to sit down and have their little picnic together so that will be really nice so I'm just gonna get these guys to start their picnic and maybe catch up about the day, ask each other how their day was, what they did at school. So that would be really cute. Oh, so they've got their bread and their jam and hopefully they have some. Yay! Oh, look at Ellie's face. She's so cute, she's just watching her big sister. It's a bit odd how they're just having plain bread, they're not having the jam on it. I wonder if they can like spread it on. I don't know how they'd actually use it. Let's see if we can get Aria to try and eat the blueberry jam or blackberry jam even because I'd like yeah I'd like to see how they actually eat it whether they have it on their bread or not because that would be good. Oh what's she gonna do? Oh oh she's just eating it from the bottle <laughs> that is so odd that is definitely a bug. It's definitely not supposed to be attached to the spoon like that. Okay, well she just ate the blackberry jam on her own. That was really weird. <laughs> But we've had a nice little catch up with her family so these guys are just gonna continue to have a chat maybe ivy can catch up with each of them as well and then i'm gonna take aria around henford and bagley and see if we can find any sims that i've placed here so this is actually one of your sims here i think his name is finn and he was in a family and he's got an elderly dad and a younger sister i believe and i kind of thought that his sister might be friends with Ellie and that he might be friends with Mark eventually. It will be handy for me if Aria knows all the sims that we want to invite anywhere. So I'm going to get her to give him a friendly introduction but I'm also going to get Mark to give him a friendly introduction too because I think that they will eventually be friends. I will put the gallery information of the person who created him down below but I thought he was super cute and yeah he looked very cottagey. Yes, we're now acquainted with him. I'm just also going to get Ellie to play with Fidget because I feel like Fidget might need some attention. We haven't actually given him too much attention today. Oh, and it looks like these guys are getting introduced, so that's nice. Oh, and I'm pretty sure this is another sim that I added from Your Creations. I can't remember her name though, but I added her because I thought it might be a nice friend for Ivy. So let's get Ivy to come over and, well, actually, we'll get Aria to introduce herself first and then we'll also get Ivy to introduce herself because yeah like I said I want Aria to know everyone just because for inviting people to holidays and stuff like that will be super handy. Oh, so Ivy's introducing herself to her new friend her name is Alina and I think she is staying in Henford on Bagley and no, I think she lives here but her toddler granddaughter is staying with her and that was the story so yeah that'll be nice to get to know them. Yeah so Aria's just saying hi just so that we can have her on her friends list. Ah, okay, so we do actually have one of the Sims that was part of the winning entry of my Cowers competition here in the town square. He's currently talking to a couple of other Henford on Bagley residents. So I'm just gonna introduce ourselves. I don't know which one he is, because there were two twins and it was such a funny story. I was absolutely in love with the story that the creator had written about them. Okay, here we go. There we go. 
Yay! Okay, so it's Perry, and basically, I think it was Perry and August were the name of the Sims, and they are sworn enemies, but they live on the same farm, and apparently it's divided exactly in two, and they both love to compete in the Finchwick Fair <laughs> competition, and they are absolute rivals in the fair. So I just thought that was such a hilarious story, and I really wanted them to be in the Let's Play. So we are definitely going to see more of Perry here. Okay, but I think it's probably now a really good time to go home because, yeah, it's getting a bit dark. So I'm going to go and pack up our picnic basket, put it back in our inventory, and then, yeah, let's travel home with everyone. We've made three new friends with sims that you've created yourself, which I was really excited to do. And now Mark's got a friend, Ivy's got a friend, Ellie's got a potential new friend because Mark's friend has a sister who she could be friends with. And then it'd be really nice to have another family evening together. So I'll get everyone to sort of sit down and then I'll get Aria to do another cross stitch pattern. Let's maybe get her to do a phrase this time. Oh, let's choose dogs welcome, sims tolerated. That's quite funny. <laughs> that definitely sounds like my motto. <laughs> oh, so it looks like they're all going to sit down and have a nice little family evening together. Maybe have a bit of a catch up. So maybe Mark and Ivy can have a little bit of a chat. They can tell each other about their days. Yeah, and then maybe we could have a little chat with Ellie as well. Yeah, I feel like Ivy makes such an effort to get in with all the kids because she feels like heartbroken that they don't have any parents. Oh, and it looks like Ellie's gone off to bed. So we'll just let her go off to bed because she's probably knackered. And we'll just enjoy doing our little cross stitch. I'm really interested to see what the design turns out to be. I hope that we get more patterns and designs the higher skill level we are because I would love to see more pictures rather than actual words. I think that would be nicer so that we can decorate our house eventually. We do still have quite a lot of options to pick from. Okay, you guys, so I feel like this is another good place to end the episode here so hopefully you had fun hopefully you enjoyed it so just to recap we took care of our hens we had a couple of chicks age up and we obviously took care of buttercup as well we had our picnic because we baked some jam and we also baked some bread as well and we met three of our new neighbors in Henford and Bagley which is super exciting hopefully yeah we'll get some more festivals coming up soon and that will bring some some drama and some more interactions with our community because hopefully yeah I really want it to feel like we're super involved with the community and we do loads of events with them and get to know them really close as friends so that'll be super exciting I hope you guys liked this episode let me know if you liked it down in the comments below thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye guys